हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट विंडोज ऑटो पायलट डिवाइस प्रिपरेशन व्हिच वाज रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विंडोज ऑटो पायलट डिवाइस प्रिपरेशन इज यूज्ड टू सेटअप एंड कॉन्फिगर न्यू डिवाइसेस गेटिंग देम रेडी फॉर प्रोडक्टिव यूज its goal is to simplify device deployment by delivering consistent configuration enhancing the overall step speed and improving the troubleshooting capabilities now let's talk about the requirement for windows autopilot device preparation so windows autopilot device preparation supports windows 11 version 22 h2 23 h2 or later with a minimum required kb mentioned on the screen it is only supports microsoft entra id join and the device should not be registered or added as an windows autopilot device if the device is registered or added the windows autopilot profile takes precedence over the windows autopilot device preparation policy now before switching to the setup and configuration step let's review the steps needed to perform windows autopilot device preparation for a user driven microsoft entra id join so very first step we have to set up the windows automatic intune enrollment then we have to allow user to join the device to the microsoft entra id third step is to create a device group fourth step is to create a user group then we have to assign the required application and powershell script to the device group then we have to create a windows autopilot device preparation policy and optionally we can add windows corporate identifier to the device before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more now let's see how we can configure and then perform a windows autopilot device preparation user driven microsoft entra join in intune so the very first step is to set up and configure the windows automatic intune enrollment and to do this we have to go to the devices and then within devices we have to go to the windows by platform and then we have to select the windows enrollment and the very first option is automatic enrollment and we can see that the mdm user scope is set to all if it is configured for some option then we have to ensure that user is part of that some option now the next step is to ensure that the users are allowed to join device in microsoft entra id and to check that we have to click on the all services and then we have to click on the microsoft entra portal and within entra portal we have to select the devices and all devices and under the device settings we have to ensure that the user may join device to microsoft entra is set to all and if this option is already configured as none then we have to configure it either for all or for selected users but in production environment this is mostly configured for all users once this is done third step is to create a device group in the intune portal so let me again go back to the intune portal and under groups here we have to create a new group let me click on the new group and the group type should be security and in the group name provide a meaningful group name i am providing windows autopilot device preparation group and then i am giving same as in description and then and then we have to click on the create option to create the group now the group is created let me search that group and now i have to open the group and under the owners we have to add the owner for that we have to click on add owners and here we have to search for intune in the enterprise application we can see that we have multiple intune apps so we have to select the intune provisioning client click on that and select and now we can see that intune provisioning client is a part of that particular group now the third step is also completed in the now the fourth step is to create a user group 
so let me create a user group so we have to click on the new group and then group type should be security and the group name so i have provided the name windows autopilot device preparation user group and same thing i am going to provide under description in the members i am going to add a one member through which i am going to perform this test so i am going to search for cmp and this is my user click on create now we have successfully created both device group and user group now the next step is to assign application and powershell script to this device group so let me go to the apps and under windows apps i have many applications let me quickly select one or two application acrobat treater dc let me go to the property and then under the assignments we have to click on edit and then we have to add a group let me search that device group i'm going to select this and click on select and then review and save so same thing i am going to do for some other application let me go to the company portal app and then go to the assignment edit the assignment and click on the add group and search for that particular device group and click on select and then review and save same thing i am going to do for one more application vlc player go to the property and then go to the edit assignment add group and search for that particular device group and select it review and save now we have successfully assigned three applications on that particular device group now we have to deploy the scripts it is an optional but let me do it i have some scripts in my lab let me go to the scripts and then platform and then a very basic script create folder in c drive and then go to the property and under the assignments then we have to add a group let me search for that particular group windows autopilot device preparation group and let me select that group and click on select review and save now we have successfully assigned application and powershell script to the device group now the next step is to create a windows autopilot device preparation policy so to do this we have to go to the devices then under the devices we have to click on the enrollment under device onboarding and then within the windows section we have to scroll down and then we can see that the device preparation policy option and now here we have to click on create the very first step is just an introduction about the windows autopilot device uh, preparation deployment so we have to click on next then we have to provide the name of the policy so i have provided windows autopilot device preparation default policy let me provide the same thing in the description section and then click on next here we have to deploy this policy to the device group which we already created let me search that device group now in the next step we have to configure the settings in the deployment settings first option is the deployment port single user and then deployment type is user driven and then join type is always as you already joined if you want you can create a user account type standard user or administrator so i am going to create an administrator in the out of box experience settings first option is minutes allowed before showing installation error let me configure it for 60 and then custom error message if you want you can provide some custom error message but i am okay with the default one for now allow user to skip setup after multiple attempts if you want you can configure it for yes else keep it as no allow link to diagnostic make it as default now next step is to add the apps which we want to deploy during this deployment process so let me quickly add the application which we already deployed on the required group let me add the acrobat reader company portal and the vlc player then save now next step is to add the scripts so let me quickly add the script i have already deployed one script on the required group in the required mode 
let me add this script and then click on save and click on next and then click on next and under the assignment we have to add the user base group let me add autopilot user base group in which i already added one user through which i am going to perform this test and click on next and now we can review these settings and click on save now we have successfully created a windows autopilot device preparation default policy optionally if you want you can also add the windows corporate device identifier but for this video i am not going to use that option maybe i will create another video to show you how the windows corporate identifier is going to work if you are going to add it and one more setting i would like to show you that under the devices if you go to the enrollments and under the windows if we go down in the under the device platform restrictions if we select the windows restriction click on the default policy and under the property click on edit we can see that i have not blocked the person enrollment in this environment so all users are allowed to enroll their personal devices so that's all you have to configure in the intune portal so let me turn on my virtual machine and i will show you the user experience now i am on my client machine and let's see the user experience so currently i am on out of box experience screen and let me select the reason and click on yes let me quickly select the reason and click on yes and then we have to configure the keyboard layout let me select this and then if you want you can select the secondary keyboard layout but for now i am going to click on skip and now machine is checking for updates and now we have to review the license agreement and click on accept and then we have to provide the device name if you want or you can also click on skip for now but for now i am going to provide the device name cmp underscore win 11 and click on next and now we are getting an option setup for personal use or setup for work or school so let me click on work or school and click on next and then we have to provide the username and password and click on sign in and now we can see that it started installing the intune management extension and also showing the percentage completion now it's started installing the required apps and policies for your organization on this machine you can also open the command prompt using shift plus f10 because i am using virtual machine that's why i am pressing function shift plus f10 <laughs> and then you can open app which dot cpl and you can see that the microsoft intune management extension is now installed successfully and same way we can also track the installation of other application during this stage you can also open the setting app to open the setting app you have to press window plus u and now you can see that the user is default user zero through which autopilot is configuring the device and if you go to the account section and go down and click on the access work or school and you can see that the machine is now joined to the intune and if you click on the info button you can see that whatever application and policies you have deployed on this machine is getting applied let me close this now at this point if you go to the intune portal and check the device we can see that under the groups and if we search for that group autopilot device preparation group and under the members you can see that the device cmp underscore win 11 is automatically added in the device preparation group and if we go to the devices and under monitor if you go down and click on windows autopilot device preparation deployment we can see that it's still showing as in progress and if we click on that device we can see that deployment is in progress and we can see that what is the status of app 
uh, all three apps are showing as not installed and then in the script also script is showing as installed now let me switch to that device and see what is the status on that device now we can see that required setup is completed and we can click on next and now we have to choose the privacy setting for your device click on next 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 and accept now we can see that my device is ready and we can also see that the vlc player and adobe acrobat reader which we deployed is also installed on the device let me go to the app which dot cpl and we can see that i have deployed three application adobe acrobat reader vlc player and third one was the company portal let me see if company portal is installed on our device yes we can see that the company portal is also installed on the device we have deployed a script to create a folder in c drive let me open the c drive and we can see that the testing underscore cmp folder is also created successfully now user can use the device for their productive work now after some time if we again check the report and to check the report we have to go to the monitor and there is a report called windows autopilot device preparation report and now we can see the deployment is also showing a success and if we click on the device we can see the detail of the device we can also see all three apps are now successfully installed and script was already installed when we check during the out of box experience window i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video